Thanks for tuning in, everyone. I am Soleil Divine, and you're listening to Adjust Your Way to 100K, the show that gives you insight on a very profitable career in the insurance adjusting industry. May <laughs> I'm messing up all day, y'all. I'm not even going to stop. I'm going to keep rolling. Make sure you subscribe on your favorite platforms and share with anyone looking to get into a lucrative career. Now, today, this is episode nine. Yeah. We've made it to nine. <laughs> it may be episode nine. It may be episode nine. We, we just call and call it nine, huh? Maybe nine. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> That's the name of the pod. Maybe nine. All right. So maybe nine. Episode nine. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about certs, certifications. Um, we're going to do a series mm-hmm. of podcasts dedicated to certs. And this will be the first of at least three installments. Yes, yes. Um, See how I did that? I came in smooth, calm, and collected. I think we're at episode nine. Why are you coming in smooth and collected? Introduce yourself to the people. You haven't even told the people who you are yet. You know that? I am Adjust Your Way to 100K producer. Mr. Adjust Your Way to 100K? Video extraordinaire. Yes, sir. And the smoothest talking youngest adjuster without a doubt on the market without a doubt what, what did uh floyd mayweather's dad say um man he, you know he talks a lot of stuff right yeah uh, you see i can't even remember exactly what he said and the look you're giving me is like don't say nothing that he said no i i ain't that it's just that i have no clue what you're talking i guess he was just saying you know pound for pound without a doubt the best in the land oh okay. you know you are. Continue. Yeah. I apologize. Your introduction. And I'm also the better half mm-hmm. of this group. Yes, sir. Okay. I'll give you... I'll, you know, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, so without further ado, I yes. am Dorian. Yes. Dorian, the other half of a gesture way to 100K. You guys don't see him often. The camera is not on him. He is the... He's working the behind the scenes. We're gonna get some behind the scenes footage of you one of these days. Yeah, when we hire somebody else. <laughs> I digress. That's why. That's why y'all gotta sign up. Yes. To be adjusters, subscribe to the pod. Yes. On all major platforms. YouTube, Spotify, uh, Apple, keep it going. Google, yeah. Google, all of them. Uh, wherever you get your podcast. We're there. We're there. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Yes. Yes, there is more than adjusting on this YouTube channel. There is. There is. Um, this great fiction. We'll just yes. put it that way. Yeah. So, and, and, and we talked a little bit about this, and maybe we'll do a show about our pasts and what we've done and what led yeah. us to the insurance industry. Because that, that definitely adjusted our way. Yeah, to 100K. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, go subscribe on those channels. Make sure you're getting the... Um, up to date information. You're getting this this content as soon as it comes out. Follow on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Do right, that. Right to live. Do that. It'll be in the description. Right to live. Yes. Adjust your way to 100k. So look, mm-hmm. we're we're talking about certifications. Why are certifications so important in this industry? Because they are little badges of honor that lets your employer know that you are educated in a certain genre of insurance. I'm glad you said like patches. Did you did you do Boy Scouts at all? I did it for one day. You did it for one day? It wasn't your thing, huh? I'm not a Boy Scout. <laughs> you quit school because of recess? Yes. That's why we're together. I knew it. But you know what, y'all? I did I did Girl Scouts. I did the brownie troop thing. It's a brownie brownie. I was a brownie brownie. And you know what? I think I still got pictures of that. I got to pull it out. I know I do, as a matter of fact. I had the little troop sash, you know? Yep. And it had all these little patches on it for different things that we did. Yep. So, if, if you want to think of it in, in that terms, when you become a jester, your sash is clear. This is just an adjuster sash. It's blank. Yeah. You just pass the test, mm-hmm. and you get the sash. You get the sash. Now you got the sash. Now, now you, gotta you gotta fill dress it, up. it up. Gotta fill it up. So I know we talk a lot about carrier certifications. Yes. We're not talking about those. No, those right are now. 
those are prerequisites to work for a carrier. Yeah, yeah, specific carriers. We're we're specifically talking about service that will enhance your ability to reach the 100K or better. Right, right, because as an independent adjuster, you're independent, and the reason why they're paying you the big bucks is so that you can go out and seek your own training. So we're going to talk about certifications, and that's a part of the seeking your own training thing. That's what we're talking about today. So um, like like Dorian said, we're going to do a whole series of certifications because there's many of them in this field. There's, we're learning them yeah. as we go as well. So as we learn, you will learn with us. Yeah, yeah, because it's, it's a lot of different ways you can go. When we say adjust your way to 100K, that's because there's different ways to get into this industry and work this industry and, and do things. So without the, with all, with all that out of the way... We're going to talk about the HAG certification. No, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm saying it wrong. I say it wrong. It's not HAG. It's HAG. And you know why it's called HAG? It's because uh, there was a structural engineer that began the company um, back when structural engineering was uh, just getting up and running. He built the first HAG uh, operation in Dallas, Texas. And since then, they've gone on to do a lot of different stuff with... um, residential commercial floods um estimating reviewing structural engineering all sorts of construction disciplines and they work with insurance companies as well as other professionals um so Haig has has a lot of information and they offer a series of um certifications and that's what we're going to talk about today this whole podcast is going to be devoted to the Haig certifications yes h-a-a-g h-a-a-g so let me take these i always got these on y'all she don't care about (laughs) y'all i love y'all we love y'all to just show it on 100k i'm doing this for you i researched this for you let's go all right hey certification so we're going to start with price because okay. that's what everyone wants to start with right okay. how much is this going to cost so late okay well let's let's get one thing out of the way as, as far as we talking about certifications we're not going to say you're going to spend your money we're going to say you're going to circulate your money how much is it going to cost me to circulate <laughs> this money so late <laughs> so the hague certification um is 349 dollars per course 349 this, per course. This is for the study materials and uh, for the test. All in one. All in one. So um, the Hague has different levels, right? Um, There's levels to this, young boy. There's levels to it. So uh, <laughs> in the certain certification we're talking about is the certified reviewer, um, and that has four different levels. Um, but like we said, each test, each course material, each level is $349. Yes. Okay, so um, I think the next thing we need to know is what what are you going to learn, though, on these levels, right? No, no, no. No? No. How long is it going to take me? Okay, it's real quick. Well, I I guess you could say quick in the grand scheme of things. It's quick compared to other things, yeah. Things, for (laughs) sure. So 12 to 20 hours is the range of each level of the course. Yes. Um. So, so <laughs> the first level is 12 to 14, mm-hmm. and the top level, you know, 16 to 1, depending on how fast you learn. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, like we said, there's four levels. And level one, as a certified reviewer, uh-huh. this is like, this is more geared, this, this certification is more geared towards desk adjusters, yes. which is something new for Haig that they've started offering this, um, this sort of level of certification. Yes. Um, and if you go on their website, they explain it more in detail, but this is more geared for desk adjusters and file reviewers. We have not talked about the different things that you can do with your adjuster's license, but file reviewing is one of them. And we can talk about that at a later date. We're not going to do it right now. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, level one, basic weather, basic residential roof installation is what you're going to learn. So you're going to learn about the different construction systems because you don't even know how to estimate anything or assess any damage until you know what it's built up. Yes. So that's what you're going to learn in level one, which is very important. Very, very important. Mm-hmm. Uh, so level two, now that you've known, you know the basics, you know what the different systems is, the different types of roof, the different roofing materials, um, now you can assess the damage. 
So what does assess the damage mean? So like so assessing the damage, assessing the damage means that you're you're able to look at some damages and see what the issues are and assess it um, for repair. So uh, you're looking at a roof and you can tell, okay, that's hail damage or oh the shingle gauge is at this amount. That means that that shingle isn't repairable. You'll learn all of those different things um, by assessing the damages. Gotcha. That's what assessment is. Okay. Um, which is a very integral part of your job as an insurance adjuster. So um, level two is damage assessment of the roof, exterior cladding, framing damage, fire and smoke damage, and my personal favorite, water damage and mitigation. I know I said a lot, but these this level two, like level one is great, but this level two, this is a lot of real good the meats information. meats and potatoes of your daily claims routine. Definitely, definitely. Especially with the mitigation. When you start getting into water mitigation claims and, and fire and smoke mitigation, you need to know what you're talking about. Um, so this is going to help you make a proper assessment and move the claim along a lot quicker if you know what you're talking about um, from these different disciplines that are in this certification. True that. All right, so that's level two. So then you have level three which is basic principles and best practices of estimating. Woo! Let me tell y'all, this is a powerhouse certification right here because you're going to be learning how to estimate and it's going to give you platform-specific information about estimating, like Xactimate and Symbility. I know you guys have heard about these two, uh, at least Xactimate. Xactimate seems to be more popular than Symbility. Correct. But uh, some companies are moving away from Xactimate, getting into Symbility. But this certification is going to give you information on both of those platforms. Woo! Because those are the two major estimating softwares in the industry. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to learn platform-specific estimating. You're going to learn again about roofs and exterior cladding, interior estimate review, which is also platform-specific. Then you're going to learn about roofs. And exterior cladding as well as, like, there's some other interior functions that you'll learn. It's a lot of information packed into this. And this is so new mm -hmm. that level four is not even completed. Four isn't even available. Level three is the highest one you so can do if right you're, now. So if you're listening to this podcast mm -hmm. and you want to go far in the adjusting world, yeah, this is something you really want to take a close look at because you might be one of the few who have it. And as you know, the more you have, the more value you bring. Exactly. And that's what getting certifications and filling up that, that adjuster sash that we talked about. That that's what that's about. Because, um, as you get into this industry, as you know, that this is pretty simple to get into this industry. It might not be easy, but it's simple. So being that it's simple, the more things that you can put on that adjuster sash, <clears throat> more badges you can get at AKA certifications, the more uh, utilized you will be, the more money you can command, the more, um, the more opportunities you can get in this industry. So what do you think about this HAG certificate? I keep saying HAG. My apologies. HAG. HAG. Hey, hey, H A A G. Hey, y'all. <laughs> oh, oh. That's what you're gonna be singing when you get that Hague certification. Hey, y'all. You're gonna be counting big money. <laughs> 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 I feel like I got. We gotta finish the song. This is I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. But um, I we say all this to say I, that. What? I'm I, sorry. I think. Mm -hmm. you didn't let me even. My bad. You me. just. He been wanting to get on me all day, y'all. No, Go I ahead. Haven't. Go ahead. What I what I really think is that um, this is the opportunity for you to create your hundred k salary. Mm -hmm. Like don't don't just get happy with the you know the independent hard grind sixty hours because you're going to get burnt out eventually. Yep. yep, yep, yep. If you learn this, now you become employable as a staff adjuster making. Over 100K. Yeah, yeah. Or um, you can do different assignments, and they'll pick you quicker because now That's you've got too. all these certifications. And and you could make a lot more than 100K. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking double. Yeah. So this we just want to present opportunities to you all mm -hmm. to have and go get to create more value. Definitely. That's what this is about. This whole series is about that. Definitely. So... 
the Hague certifications also count towards continuing education, which is great. Um, because on Adjuster Pro, why, why is that important? Well, to keep your license and it explains this on Adjuster Pro, where you're gonna have to fulfill uh, continuing education requirements. I'm in Florida. We have to do 24 credit hours every two years. And it seems like insignificant until you get to that last month and you got to get them in in the crunch. Yeah. Yeah. So so you want to be looking for opportunities throughout your years as you're going through of continuing education because you got to keep getting them. So that, that really just means you got to do an hour every month. Yeah. Yeah. Of continuing education. Yeah. Yeah. If you do an hour like every month or two hours every other month, you would be able to get your... You get your 24 hours of continuing education yep. requirement if you're in Florida. It's different yeah, different, different by every state. Correct. Yeah, different amounts for every state. But you know who has a, a lot of information about this? Adjusterpro.com. Adjusterpro.com? Yep, adjusterpro.com. And they also offer continuing education credits. Wow. Our code works on adjusterpro.com. SD2022? Two two. SD2022 is going to get you 10% off. So go to adjusterpro.com for your licensing, your continuing education. Um, they also have other courses on there. Interesting they stuff. They got blogs. They got blogs. They got a lot of information. And they will respond to your questions. Oh, quick, quick, quick. You can even call them if you want. <laughs> so what, think about the Hague certification. I know a lot of people talk about, you know, how will I get trained in this industry? A lot of the training is going to be up to you, even if you're a staff adjuster. They may train you in their ways, but they're not going to train you to advance your career. And this is about career advancement. So self-starters, this is for you. Yep, yep, yep. So Hague certification, go to Hague. I think it's H-A-A-G dot com and get more information about Hague, the company, and their certification. Uh, anything you want to add there? Adjusterpro.com. Use mm -hmm. the code SD2022. We appreciate y'all as always. Adjust your way to 100K. We out. We out.